Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Monday, October 16th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal's annual Tech Live event kicks off today. We'll have coverage all week, including highlights from the main stage conversations. But to get us ready for it, we're joined now by Sarah Castellanos, WSJ Live Journalism News Editor. Sarah, unsurprisingly, there are a lot of AI conversations slated for this year's Tech Live. What are some of the different topics surrounding AI we can expect to hear about? So the interviews at Tech Live are going to touch on everything from how AI is influencing online gaming to social media and even how celebrities are thinking about AI. You'll also hear about what's in store for possible AI regulation in the U.S., And you're going to hear about a lot of the risks of artificial intelligence as well. So two of our guest speakers at TechLive have written new books that talk about the real dangers of advanced AI systems. And those are AI leaders Mustafa Suleiman, who is Google DeepMind's co-founder, and Fei-Fei Li, who's a renowned Stanford AI researcher. And one of the highlights of the event is that we'll hear straight from OpenAI founder Sam Altman and his CTO Mira Marathi about where they think AI is headed. So you can expect this technology will certainly be a threat throughout every conversation we have at TechLive. Right, certainly some big names in the AI space at the moment. But apart from AI, are there some themes that folks should expect to hear about? Yeah, so there are a lot of other themes aside from AI, but I'll call out three here. So we will have a discussion about the fate of the crypto industry with crypto optimist Anthony Scaramucci and Charlie Shrem, who is a crypto compliance advocate. Tech Live is happening against the backdrop of a crypto meltdown. FTX founder Sam Bankman fried is on trial for allegedly stealing billions of dollars from customers. And it's worth noting that he joined us virtually at Tech Live last year, where he was still touting the health of FTX and the wider crypto industry. And then three weeks later, his company filed for bankruptcy. We're also going to be discussing climate technology with Mike Schrepfer, who is the former CTO of Meta and Victoria Beasley, a longtime climate tech investor. And we will also have a session on social media and mental health. So this is a topic that the journal has covered very extensively, especially in the Facebook file series. And just a few months ago, the U.S. Surgeon General issued a public health warning about the risks of social media to young people. And that's something, too, we've talked about a lot on this show, so it'll be fascinating to hear what they have to say. Two of the first speakers we're going to hear from today as Tech Live kicks off are John Legend and Arnold Schwarzenegger. These aren't two people typically associated with tech. Can you tell us about each of their sessions? Yeah, so many of us are familiar with John Legend as a 12-time Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter, but he is also an entrepreneur and a social impact investor. I don't want to spoil too much here, but he is going to be talking about the work he's doing in the consumer tech space with venture capitalist Nicole Quinn, who is a partner at Lightspeed Venture Partners. And he'll also be discussing the role he's playing in Praxis Labs, which is a startup founded by Elise Smith that uses virtual reality as a tool for diversity training at major tech companies. And as for Arnold Schwarzenegger, look, he has so much experience in so many different facets of life, really, as an actor, as a bodybuilder, as the former governor of California. And technology has really influenced all of those areas. So he'll be joining us in a wide-ranging conversation about the future of the planet and aging and how technology has shaped American culture. Sarah, Tech Live over the years has really been a place where news has broken. Obviously, we don't know what that might be ahead of time, but what are some of the sessions you'll be watching out for to see if there's breaking news? I will be paying close attention to Sam Altman and Mira Marathi, as well as Chris Cox, who is Meta's chief product officer. They will all be interviewed by Joanna Stern, who's our personal technology columnist. Vinod Kosla should be really interesting to listen to as one of the very first investors in OpenAI. I'd also pay close attention to the session with Renee Haas, who's the CEO of British circuit designer Arm, whose technology is widespread across smartphones. That company recently went public at a $54 billion valuation. So he's going to discuss the outlook for the chip industry and how he's thinking about artificial intelligence. So stay tuned. That was Sarah Castellanos, news editor for our live journalism team. 
If you want to check out this year's event, head over to techlive.wsj.com. WSJ subscribers get access for free. You can also read real-time updates on our website, wsj.com. All right, that's it for Tech News Briefing. Today's show was produced by Julie Chang with supervising producer Melanie Roy. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening.